Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to transfer Webflow website to another owner in 2024. So, today we're tackling the process of transferring ownership of a Webflow website to another user. Whether you are handing off a project to a client or transitioning ownership within your team. Stick around as I guide you through the steps of transferring a Webflow website to another owner in 2024. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and access your website. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, go to the URL section, simply type with flow.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen. If it's your first time, you will be instead taken into this page. Here, make sure to click on login to login into your account if you already have an account. But if you don't, instead just click on get started to create a new account. Of course, you can do both with a Google account if you have one, so you don't go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. If you don't know nothing about Webflow, you can simply scroll down to read more information about this website it will give you a general idea about us and how it's working, which is very good, especially when you're entering your website and trying to create an account on. If you're interested about the pricing also, here's it. You can post video in it all by your own. This is, of course, yearly and monthly with the features, and this is for e-commerce also if you want. So read everything out by your own if you want to. Once you're logged in into your account or you created your new account, you'll find yourself on a Webflow dashboard like this one. Make sure to go if you don't have any site to create a new site because in this video we would like to transfer websites or a Webflow website to another owner. So if you don't have a website, we will not be able to transfer anything. To create a new site, just click on new sites plus new sites at the top right corner and choose what one of the templates that they offer here. Of course, a lot of them are paid, but as you can see, they have four templates at the beginning here. A blank one if you want to start from scratch three uh, basic one and here you have even all the free ones that you can check whatever you want and start building with it once you build it just simply edit it however your style until it satisfies you now once you have it you will have to start transferring your webflow websites how just go and select or locate first of all the website that you want to transfer let's say an example for me this one and you'll have to go and access its settings click on this three dots and simply go and click on settings to access the settings of the website now we'll have to go and access or locate this option at the top right corner as you can see it said here transfer so if you click on that transfer option as you can see you will be able to transfer this site to another user or to a workspace so as you can see to a user transferring tester or this is just the name of the website will and publish the site and removes all custom domains adobe font will not transfer over and once you transfer this site you will not be able to edit to make edits on it or even to access it just keep that in mind for the workspace is going to be the same instead of entering the email of the user that you want to transfer the site to you will have to simply uh, select the workspace of course if you don't have any workspace you will have first of all to add one and then you will be able to transfer that too so if we go here to a user we'll basically have to enter their emails or their email as an example i'll just go and enter a random email so test at gmail.com and just go and click on transfer to that and as you can see site transfers invitation has been sent as you can see if i go back or it will just go back to the dashboard right away and as you can see my account or my site is now locked i will not be able to access the settings of it i will not be able to do any edits on it because the transfer now is in progress when this will finish when the person that i send the transfer to except to become the website's owner they will receive an email and notification to accept or even deny they can even deny it if they want to uh, the 
ownership of your website. If you want to cancel this transformation before even it gets to the other person, just go to your site, click on the three dots, and click on cancel site transfer. If you click on it, as you can see, you'll be able to access everything about it again, and you'll be able to do the transfer wherever you want, or however you want, or whenever you want. So don't worry, as an example, if you misspelled the, the email or something like that, just go back and simply click on it and click on cancel the transfer. You will not be able to do it just for one, you will be able to do it to whatever you want. But of course, make sure before like transferring, make sure to duplicate your uh, website, especially if you're just transferring to another person for using it. But if he's buying it from you, Make sure to do not duplicate it, especially if you agree to that and the terms of it. And of course, once like you transfer, as we said before, this will invite the other owner to have the ownership of it. If you're transferring ownership, of course, to like an existing team member, you can simply tell them to accept the ownership. And once the invitation has been sent, the new owner will receive an email notification prompting them to accept the invitation. They will need to log in to their Webflow account and accept the invitation to become the new owner of the website. As the current owner, you will receive a confirmation once the transfer is complete also. And after the new owner has accepted the invitation, take any necessary steps to finalize the transfer. This may include updating billing information, transferring hosting plans, or even providing access to additional assets associated with this website. And before completing the transfer, verify that all settings and permissions have been transferred correctly. Confirm with the new owner that they have full access of the website or to the website and associated resources also. Once everything is in order, both parties should confirm the successful transfer with just each other and you will be good to go. So, there you have it. You successfully learned how to transfer ownership of a Webflow website to another owner in 2024. By following these steps, you can ensure a seamless transition of control while maintaining continuity for your website projects. If you have any question or there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. If you like this video also, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. So happy collaborating and I will see you in the next video. So goodbye.